action. Now Palmer. Palmer's hit. Fumble. He loses the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, and that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Let's take it on the 25. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. That one goes for 24 yards. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find the spot and what we call sit down and present. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Dayon Buchanan coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Second down, here's Breeze. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. hands to Ingram and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15 yard line Tyvon Branch there to bring him down that's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball held him to a gain of two and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays second and eight now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now Breeze on third down. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It would appear Sean Payton's made the decision here. They will go for it on fourth. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run for it. It's Ingram. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Ah, uh, deep in the red zone. This was four down territory from the start. And here, they won't wind up with a touchdown, but they do get a great consolation prize as they convert and pick up a first down inside the five. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so 
Maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And it's third and short. Good job by the O-line. Quarterback had time to go through his checks. That's one you need to take advantage of. A perfect situation, and they're unable to take advantage of it. When you have that much time to scan the field, you have to find an open receiver. From the two-yard line yet again, let's see what they can do on third and goal. Breeze looking to throw, try to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Dayong Buchanan. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Right now. Now Palmer to throw him. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And they've got it very deep in enemy territory. It's inside the five. and goal. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. They'll look to run with Ingram. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mark Ingram taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This will be fielded at the 8. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now Palmer to throw. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Anytime you call man coverage against Larry Fitzgerald, you're really holding your breath as a defensive guy because his ability to run such precise routes and use that big frame that he has, that body, against you, it's going to be very difficult to break passes up against it. Yeah, when you make nine Pro Bowls in your first 12 years, you might want to give him a little bit more coverage than that. Yeah, it's not just athletic ability. He's a thinking man's receiver as well. Three down, three down. Get ready. On 
First and ten, it's Palmer. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. Delvin Bray with a pick, and he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Ingram again. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And he'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. They come up in an offset eye. Breeze now. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. There's Breeze. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw is Breeze. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. So with that, we come upon the two-minute warning here on the NFL on EA Sports. And the offense in a great spot. It's first and goal from the three. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. second down that's caught at the two four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down and boy they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him didn't they they certainly did and obviously they liked his measurables otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team height weight speed all of that but how about what they really said competitiveness that's what they really liked about him the way he goes after the football competes for it and decides when it's in the air it's his and only his It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Partner, it's decision time now. I know it's still just the second quarter, but you have an opportunity to either kick the field goal or go for it and try and score a big-time touchdown. This is why the head coaches get paid the big bucks. No gain at all on the play there, and that brings up fourth. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. Marie's going to go, and he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Brandon Cooks there to make the grab.